Look at that smile. Yeah, the Grammy audience inside the arena and the Grammy audience at home was very happy that Variety's report from last week that said Tracy Chapman would perform on the awards ceremony turned out to be true. Taylor Swift was on her feet singing along while Meryl Streep was just, I didn't think of a new word, I think I'm going to go with engrossed. Any place is better. Starting from zero, got nothing to lose. Tracy Chapman was back for an encore, so to speak. Actually, no. I feel like another lap would be more appropriate, right? Yeah. Um, for music's biggest night, 35 years after she first performed Fast Car on the Grammys. Any place is better. Starting from zero, got nothing to lose. Fast Car was also Tracy's first car. Yeah, it was her first single in 1988, and she won three Grammys for it. Not two, three. There you go. Best New Artist, Best Pop Vocal Performance Female, and Best Contemporary Folk Recording. Thank you once again. Thank you. The song was back on people's radars in 2023 because of Luke Combs' cover of the track that was two years older than him. The success of Luke's cover has meant that Tracy has some additional you know, cool bragging rights, like being the first black woman to top the country airplay chart with a solo composition. And the CMA award for the song of the year goes to Fast Car, Tracy Chapman. And the first black performer to win song of the year at the CMA awards last November, so yeah. Very cool. I love that she's getting her flowers. And that includes this Grammy performance. Jelly Roll and Warren Treaty were singing along. Lainey Wilson was super zoned in. And Taylor and Meryl still in it. Be myself, I got nothing to prove. But beyond all the accolades and the awards, blah, 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 I wanted to know today, is Tracy getting paid for this? And yes, she is. You just have to, you know, pay the royalties to the writer to do a cover, right? Because I don't own the publishing on it. Yeah, Tracy owns all the publishing rights for Fast Card. No need for Tracy's version for this song. No, no, no. Billboard reported last July that Tracy has probably made about 500000 in royalties. Hell yeah, you can go buy yourself a faster car, Tracy Chapman. And in the words of Niecy Nash, Go on, girl, with your bad self. You did that. Now, I do want to acknowledge, I don't want to say applaud, because, like, let's not give him too much credit here, um, that Luke took a back seat in this Grammy performance. Like when I first heard or read that report, I thought, can Luke just like not sing and just kind of sing in the background or something like that and just let Tracy have her moment? I'm, I'm just kind of joking about that, but I do appreciate how much Luke did take a step back in his performance. Because not everyone would do that. Ego would get in the way of someone doing that. And it happens often. I thought we'd end up getting, you know, Luke Combs performing Fast Car with like Tracy Chapman kind of inserted there, whatever, the last 30 seconds. Like that's how usually these kind of performances go. I can't think of another circumstance where the legacy artist has started out the song. And not only that, Luke wasn't even in the frame. That first frame that was very long, um, yeah, you don't see him in that shot at all. So I thought that was, I mean, for me, it was very pointed because that's what I wanted to have. And that's what I wanted the um, level of respect for Tracy Chapman to be at. And that's what I got. And I thought that was amazing. Now, Billboard and I had somewhat of the same assessment of the performance, but they said that Luke gave the spotlight to Tracy Chapman? No. No, Luke Combs did not give the spotlight to Tracy Chapman. It wasn't his to give. But Luke shared that headline and wrote on his Instagram story, I'll have more to say about last night when I've had the chance to process it. All I can say now is thank you, Tracy, and thank you, Recording Academy, for letting me be part of a truly remarkable moment. I'm very thankful. You got a fast car. I got a job that pays all our bills. Luke has talked about how foundational that song is to him and it was super cute to watch him mouth along the words several times when Tracy was singing and it seemed like at one point he didn't want her to see that he was doing that so he quickly like turned away when she looked over at him but yeah I love the fanboying out now this live performance ended up being pretty split equally in terms of vocals I, I, a I be putting the emphasis on Tracy has fueled sales of her original from 1988 we're like three quarters of the way through Monday and her fast car is number two on iTunes in Canada ahead of Luke's cover. Wise choice. I don't mean to sound harsh, but I really have no idea why someone would choose to listen to Luke's version over Tracy's. Like Tracy's voice is so unique. Like she has such an interesting way of phrasing. Luke is like so generic, like stubbing any country male artist into that role other than like Chris Stapleton. And it's like, yeah, you're just going to get some generic vocals. Like he doesn't even do anything interesting when they're singing in unison. Like he doesn't do some interesting harmony. Like no, it's just straight on. We're going to sing the same notes. Anyways, Tracy sounds fantastic. She's going to turn 60 next month. Her inner voice sounds just as good as it did, if not better than before. The legendary Tracy Chapman, everybody. But hey, if you've got Oprah and Kelly Clarkson standing up and hollering for you at the end of your performance, I'd say your car is running pretty dang well. 
And I'm sure some people were clapping for you too, Luke. But I think, Tracy, you've given Luke a ride long enough. Bill, what do you think? I'm not, I don't mean to be harsh on Luke Combs, but come on here. Come on. So, <laughs> what do you think of Tracy Chapman's first live performance in nine years with Luke Combs on Fast Car? 